Hi guys, welcome to your free market update for the 30th of June. Hope you're well, hope you're enjoying the sunshine if you're in the UK. It's beautiful out there. Um, okay, so let's take, just take a look at the markets. Of course, the Euro uh, and the Greece scenario is headline news. Uh, it is deadline day today. And at 10 p.m. this evening, that's when they'll default if there are no payments made. And so, you know, from a technical point of view, from a, I'm a technical analysis trader. I trade charts and I, I, I make my decisions from the chart. And so is this Greece scenario um, really going to change the way I trade? And I think what it does, um, it, it, it just makes me cut back a little bit with my trading. Um, because we're seeing some decent volatility. The VIX has spiked higher yesterday. And so it's putting a lot of pressure uh, on the stock markets. But really from an intraday point of view, when I'm trading intraday here, this is the five minute time frame. You know, we took a long trade on the Euro this morning. As I said, it's up about 51 pips. Now, on my pro trading system here, it gives you a buy where this line is here. It tells you where to buy. It tells you where to take some profits. So you buy here, you take some profits here. And here's a short area, you short here. And here's the low, 111.35. This is, this is projected. As soon as that line comes into play, it projects this line. So you're aiming for a profit target way down here, okay? And obviously it's something bigger as well. But so the moral of the story really is that I'm not really concerned from a day trading point of view what the Greece scenario outcome is going to be. It's all priced into the chart and I'm trading it, uh, I'm keeping it simple, I'm keeping it um, uh, straightforward, I've got my entry points, my profit targets and I think you know if you're somebody struggling with trading uh, and you know there's so much going on, we can only process so much in our minds at one stage, I think from a day trading point of view keep it simple, follow the strategy if you've got a strategy, follow your trading plan if you've got a trading plan and you'll end up making money. If you're new to trading, get yourself a strategy. Get yourself a reason why to buy or sell. And I can imagine, you know, I've had phone calls from my friends as well last night saying, you know, should we short the euro? Should we short the euro? And remember, the crowd, uh, the, crowd the public, the retail traders, they're normally the last to know. The punters on the street, they're normally the last to know. So it wouldn't, we wouldn't be surprised if we get you know, a bit of a kickback rally in this euro where we do start to fire higher. And I was talking about that, what I'm looking for on Scan Club um, last night. Um, and that's from a swing trading point of view. From a day trading point of view, I'm just following my strategies. Just follow the strategies, just follow the signals, whatever they are, and you will make money. Um, from a swing trading point of view, I think you've really just got to follow the systems, follow your strategies, but just lighten up a little bit because um, volatility at the moment has picked up. If you've got a 50 point stop loss, you know, we could see spikes tonight all over the place and you're going to get stopped out. There's no harm in just sitting and waiting for another day just to see how things resolve themselves and then continue trading. I think it's very important um, at the moment is to just preserve capital, keep your account intact. And you know, there's going to be a lot of people out there chasing these markets, um, being on the wrong side of these big moves. And some of these moves intraday, like 40, 50 pip kickback rallies, are stopping people out. You know, stop placements are around what 12 to 15 pips normally. And so I think it's just enjoy the sunshine um, and get ready for some really big moves. Because if you look at the euro here, if you look at the euro from a, a daily time frame. You know, we've had this lovely wave pattern all the way down. We're making higher lows. Are we going to fire off a brand new long trade? Now, on the weekend update, we had a short signal and profit target was down here. When it hit the profit target, came down very, very hard, like 200 pips here. And that was nice. Now we're back to the mean. Are we going to get a green candlestick? If we get green, that's a long trade. All right, so I'm waiting for that to set up and I will inform members, okay? So we've got our 30-day free trial, guys. We've got this weekend, we've got our coffee morning for members as well. We come along and chat to other members and it's great value. Uh, we do have, uh, we are inviting guests. If you'd like to come along this weekend, I'll redirect you to this at the end of this video. Exciting times in the market. I think it's going to be a great rest of the summer. Take care. Bye-bye.